Hey, hello everyone. It's taken me a lot of preparations to get to this walkthrough, but I'm finally ready to begin it. And it's going to be Super Mario Galaxy 2. <laughs> That's what you think. Oh. What? Uh-oh. Well, I guess we should see what evil voice guy wants. I hope it's something at least good for him to uproot my plans over. <gasps> no, 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 no. No! 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 Calm down! Calm down! Calm down! What? No! Calm down! Okay, fine, fine. What, what do you have to say about these? Well, just that, really. You beat the game before, but you didn't 100% it. I did it on the 3DS version. That's not the same, and you know it. You have demons left in you for not 100%ing this game. Uh, I suppose you're sorta right, but this is still... that game. And besides, I can't play it anyway, it's on an N64. Remember, uh, N64 emulation is kinda sucky and my camera won't record it. What about the GameCube version? Mmm... I guess if I have to... Mm. <sighs> Fine, I'll try a couple parts and see how it is. Good. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Aren't you gonna pick up the game? What, that? Yeah. You put that trash on the ground, you clean it up. What? Hey, hey, come back here! Well, as long as Evil Voice Guy is making me play it, I suppose I'll finally show people what the poop are the issues that I have with this game. Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of The Legend of Zelda. Majora's Mask for the N64, GameCube, and Virtual Console. Here are the game's controls, and uh, the Z, Y, and X button along with the C stick would be mapped to the C buttons on the original N64 version, and the L button would be mapped to the Z button. I, I can't do the rumble feature, because I'm using the WaveBird controller so I don't whack things with the cord while I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> so, I am PK Gam, and I'll be commentating this, and this is not a good start right here. Yeah, um, yeah, um, um. <laughs> Apparently, this version freezes more than the other versions, but I've got a method, sorta, kinda, to make it as quote unquote stress free as possible to get through this game, and it's it's gonna be abusing what they like to call owl saves. It's like a it's like a quick save where you when you resume it it deletes where the save file is, but what I'm gonna be doing is when I get to an owl save, I'll copy the owl save to the other save file. So both save files will actually be highly recommended that you use for your playthrough of the game. I mean, sure, it seems tempting to only use one so that you have another one for a second playthrough later, but I assure you, you do not want to be working on something for hours, and then suddenly the game freezes and you have to redo the whole thing, because this game doesn't ha exactly have the best of uh, save systems. <laughs> Just putting that out there and... Yes, Raoka would say. <laughs> so, that's another thing about this game that's gonna kinda probably tick off a lot of people and, well, sort of me too, at least at the time when I first played it before I knew about the whole owl save copy thing. So, at least there's a little bit of a way around the, uh, sorts of issues going on in this game. But, uh, well. We shall see when I'll use it and what I'll use it for as I go 
because, well, I'll probably end up also abusing it for certain <laughs> side quests, like a Klefki one of a certain kind. Let's just put it that way, so that I don't have to restart that one from the beginning every time I, s may I might mess up or something like that. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Alright, so this is the game's intro that I'm talking over, obviously. You're just kind of... Getting the feel of the game here of Clock Town, and now we're getting into some of the uh, darker aspects. Yes, well, see, there's this, uh, yeah, there's a Skull Kid wearing Majora's mask, and there appears to be a little, a little problem going on with the land here. Uh, yeah, that that's a pretty big problem. <laughs> Alright, so, Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, let's begin. The 3D version is definitely way, way better than this, and I just let that go on too far. I was going to restart the intro. That's okay. So I cleared out both save files here. Ready to go? I sure hope you are, because I'm not, because I haven't put in a name yet. So I'm gonna put Link here, because whatever name you put will name the main character, and that is the name of the main character. So, let's get this sucker started. We are going to begin in the land of Hyrule. There echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Of Zelda. <laughs> Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey. A secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways with that he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Did you hear that sound? I was waiting for that sound. They're basically hinting that who he's looking for is Navi. You know, that annoying fairy from the first game. So, they're already trying to get people invested in the game by trying to look for a character they didn't really like. <laughs> Okay, those aren't Navi. Those are those are, those are two other critters that uh, we'll, we'll get to know soon enough. But we're going through this spooky dark forest uh, with a fog going around here. It's it's always a good sign in video games when you're going through something spooky and ominous like that. And we're just like, huh? Eh, where is this? Like, what? How did I even get? Like, where? What the poop is going on? <laughs> And the slight buck off the horse knocks Link out. Remember, this is the same Link from Ocarina of Time, and I'm pretty sure Ocarina of Time Link has been through a lot worse than that to be able to get knocked out. <laughs> Just saying. Hmm? <laughs> mm hmm. The two fairies to greet. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Hmm. This guy? Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. So, he seems to know Link. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe you heard of Link from the legend of Zelda. <laughs> and Link is still out like light, unbelievably. And hey, don't, don't, no touchy. Ooh, what a big ocarina! Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it, I wanna see! <laughs> that, you're, you're getting your nasty mouth juices on my ocarina, stop that. I can't tell. What would you do if you dropped and broke it? No way, you can't touch it! Aw, oh, but Sis, why can't I try it out too? So, he's having a good time with my ocarina. Getting it full of mouth juices and, uh... Yeah, I see that. I see that. Don't you dare! Get him! Ah, poopers. Hey, that was not my horse too! Anope! Stop Anope! You! Stop for me, please! I would very much appreciate it. I know you're kind of a wild horse, but... You do know I'm hanging off the side of you, don't you? Eh! Well... Uh, I'm getting tired. Okay, yeah. Well... It looks like the Skull Kid got away. And I'm knocked out again. Unbelievable. <laughs> So, uh, 
I'm assuming with the canon of the game, Link didn't collect a single heart container because there isn't there isn't anything there. It just you only got three. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but yeah, since Ocarina of Time, Link has lost 17 hearts in some way, shape, or form. So I'm gonna just go and uh, cut this stuff because I'd like to grind for some rupees. I mean, I know our horse is being kidnapped along with our ocarina and stuff like that, but I assure you that no matter how long you take over here and how frantic it may seem, there is no reason that you need to go on any quicker because things will not happen any quicker. <laughs> things will always happen at the exact same time that you approach the math. Let's just put it that way. Alright, so I'm just giving you a full exploration of this first area here, because once you get past it, you won't be able to come back. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I know, that sounds kind of weird, but that's how it works. Oh jeez, the hills are alive, or at least the bushes are. Is you? <laughs> There's actually something that you can do with those bushes. Um, to get more rupees out of them, but I'll, I'll show you that a little later, later on. I missed that rupee. Ah, oh, it's gonna disappear. Um, this is kind of a weird thing that the game doesn't teach you about. It's like, you gotta get up there, obviously, but how the, how the poop do you get up there? Well, 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 this is the point of the game where they expect you to learn how to jump by walking off the edge of things. Yeah, that's not exactly clear if you think about it. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're coming straight off of Ocarina of Time, it is, but that's not something that I really caught on my first playthrough of the game, because I was just an excited kid playing this game for the first time. And Link! No, 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 Link, you are just bungling things left and right. Like, how... I don't understand how you get knocked out. Maybe it's because you're down to three hearts. But then I don't know how you recovered those hearts so quickly. It just seems like... I don't know, man. I don't know. So yeah. And okay, now Link wasn't knocked out or had any broken bones after that fall. Maybe because of the the flower broke his fall or something like that. And now Skull Kid and Majora's Mask is on stage here, have putting on a concert. What's up that stupid horse here? This doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. Hmm. There's no point in writing a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> oh boohoo! What a sad face. I decided to have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now? Fool! <laughs> My mind! It feels like I've got a thousand migraines. I hear nuts shaking. I feel Deku's... Deku scrubs! Oh, jeez, run! They're gonna shoot bullets at you all over the place. It's gonna be painful. I said run, Link, run! By the way, that that slow motion blur effect is kind of dizzying. I never really liked that effect. <laughs> it's just, and it's only in this Zelda game, too, that it has it. It just, I don't know, it just, ugh. Just, I, yeah, it just never sat well with me. <laughs> well... It appears as if I've been transformed into a Deku scrub anyway. <laughs> That's a good look for you. I'll stay here looking that way forever! <laughs> That's at least how I envision him. <laughs> oh, eat, uh, uh, uh. Hey, you know, why, why would you do that? That was completely uncalled for. Like, like seriously? Sis! And they're separated. Yes. <laughs> And that's what you get for messing with me. Oh, Skull Kid! Wait for me! I'm still here! Don't! You can't leave without me! Yeah, I hope you get a migraine now, too. <laughs> you! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother! Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something! Uh, I'm not helping you. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? What face? Can you stop staring and just open that door for me? No. Please, come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up! And you're most certainly not helpless if you could knock me over. Oh, Tao, I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. So, okay, now we got different controls. We can attack by spinning, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> you don't really have anything else other than that now, because of our, our sword is locked in purgatory of sorts. 
And I don't know if I can show you this, but uh, maybe I can't. But apparently, the other fairy is still on the other side of the door. But when you open the door, it'll automatically disappear. It's just something in the game's coding or something like that that I heard before and seen videos and stuff. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind! So, um, that's stuff back there. I, um, apologize. So take me with you! That didn't sound genuine. I demand a tenderloin steak for you punching me in the face four times. You want to know about that skunk kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where you might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Well, good. So let's settle. I didn't agree to anything. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle, so uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all that straight now, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press up on the C button or C stick and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. Yeah, Link, Link isn't up for this either, but we got a companion! Yay! So I'm gonna hop down here and attack some more of these plants because I'm still grinding for rupees and you'll see why I'm grinding for rupees uh, when, when, the, when the time is right, let's just put it that way. Now this is gonna be the game's tutorial on these flowers. Yeah, it's, move over them, you press C up, there's Tattle. Hey, hey, if I call you, press up right away! I can tell you if you're not in your very used secret Deku scrub body yet. Alright, listen up! You press and hold A as a Deku scrub while standing on a Deku flower, you can dive into it. If you wait a bit before releasing it, you'll launch out of the flower! Press A while flying to descend. Yes, I did. Please, please don't repeat yourself. Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> One more thing. Press A when you're on the ground to perform a spin attack. I already showed that, dang it. How would I, how would I have gotten those rupees from the plants if... Weren't you watching at all? So yeah, this is how things are working out. And you can use this to get all the way up top, usually using the stairs or just using that second one there. As you've seen, I was right over the top of the upper platform, but I decided to come down here to use this flower just because. And now we can cross this gap over here. Just hold forward. And if you'd like, you could just let him descend on his own. I didn't press any button there. Alright, now that was a point of no return, we can no longer go back that way. But we already cleared out everything we kind of could anyway, so let's move on here. By the way, if you fall off here, don't worry about it. Believe it or not, it's not gonna not gonna kill you, not gonna lower your health or anything like that. Just <laughs> just resets you back to the beginning of the room, so relax, have a good time, because this is the only point of the game that is not stressful. <laughs> let's just put it that way. I will open this chest and I will see what's inside. I get Deku nuts, you can use them. Well, in this case I can press the B button to drop them when I'm flying in the air. But, but, well I'm gonna kinda probably not use them all that much, <laughs> in all honesty. Now what I'm looking to do is get over to that platform on the right side there, see that? Yeah, I can't reach that other side over there without something really precise which I'm not that good with, so I'm just gonna go around and do it this way and head around like so, and then I'll be able to flop down onto this platform with relative ease. Hey you! Come on, press L and talk to me! So I'm holding the L button here. You don't you don't just press L, you actually hold the L button when you have this set of controls I've got set here. Because um, it's very annoying when you're just tapping the L button and it or L or Z button that gets stuck on something and then you're trying to get out of it by pressing the button and it gets stuck on something else so I recommend that you change that in the options before you start like I did <laughs> there you go see you can do it if you try when I fly over to people or optics use L to talk to them see? so I'll uh, use L to look at them so you can talk to them Use L targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use L to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come over to this tree and check it out. Alright, so let's go pop over to that little scrub of sorts. And check it. That does not look like a very healthy... <laughs> Strange, the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy. Almost like it could start crying any second now. Oh, sad. Yeah, it's just it's kind of being a little pointlessly dramatic here. Because you won't even see this thing at all through the rest of the game. Like, at all. And this is another one-way trip here, going through this door. So, yeah, um, it's just, it's just there to be pointlessly sad and dramatic. I don't know. <laughs>
And point of no return number two is right now. There it is. So, we are in a place. A place with rather ominous music, and you can hop across water just by kind of running towards it. Thusly, yep, you can only do that jump five times, though, as you can see at that icon there. Yeah, so you might want to give this a little bit of practice here, because there really isn't any consequence to doing it over there or whatnot. So, you know, just, just kind of play around with it up there, and when you're ready, let's go up the slope here and around. We're just going to go and flop on over hmm, hmm, to this door here. It doesn't look like there's anything else. Oh, but apparently there is. It's the most iconic line in the game's history! You met with a terrible fate, haven't you? She's like, Tattle's like, oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I would be too! I'm in a happy mask shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask is stolen from me by an imp in the woods! So here I am, at loss. And now I've found you. Now, don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. What? How could you... Uh, where were you even watching me from, and how did you cross those gaps? <laughs> if you get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I'll return you to normal. Are you talking about a no-pay, maybe? Or maybe that ocarina? Who knows what you're talking about? Actually, I know what you're talking about, but anyway. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? It's not a simple task. Why, to someone like you, it should be by no means be a difficult task. Hmm, except... The one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. And I must leave this place in three days. How grateful would I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Well, it uh, looks like we got our first quest started. And if you'd like to... Uh, Take a look, see around here. You can see, like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little too close. I'm pressing C up the look around. There's a mask of Mario on the back there, and Gibdo, and all sorts of other little stuff that you can see around there. It's on his back. Just some little Easter eggs of sorts, or references, whatever you want to call them. And now, once you go through that door, the game starts for realsies, and you are going to have to be running around like crazy to get things done. So it's probably not a good idea to continue this part just yet. <laughs> but at the same time, you're going to notice... That there, remember I was talking about that there's this, a weird save thing about this game? Look at this. There's no way to save your game in the menus here. What, what, what is this blasphemy? It's just return, return, info. Like what? Like why would, why would they do this to us? Just why would they do this to us? So basically, if you wanted to quit now, and which is what I'm going to be doing for the video, because it's already been a decent amount of time, you basically have to just leave the game on pause. Yeah, that the game has a save battery, but you can't save ever, anywhere, and anywhere, and everywhere, and yeah, it just... <sighs> so I guess I'm just going to leave it here. And end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Maybe. <laughs> <sighs> and that's it for part one. Yep, I've literally just gotta leave the controller here. But seriously, why can't you save anywhere?